I think the problems of uh, cinema, from my perspective, is the levels that they're achieving, they don't break any laws, they're not loud from, from an industrial point of view, but they're, they're loud from, often from a customer point of view. People complain that it seems loud. You know, the levels that they're achieving in the cinema right now are loud enough. You know, that isn't the issue. The issue is, is they lose a lot of information. When you have systems that aren't reproducing all of the data, uh, depending on what that is, you'll, you have a harder time separating out things in the sound. You know, the things have a tendency to blend and blur together, the different kinds of sounds. So the music will get kind of crushed by the sound effects and, uh, and other music and things like that. So I think the, once we kind of show the tools that we have and the control we have, I think it'll be a lot easier to get everyone to understand that we're not proposing something that's going to get loud and out of control and beat the audience to death and things like that. It's a question of, of refining what we have. In video, if you go to a high resolution screen, you still want to stay at the same brightness as you were when you had a low resolution screen, low resolution data. It's not, we're not saying more resolution and brighter. We're just saying higher resolution, same with sound. We're not saying change the subjective levels that they're trying to create. It's just make it a lot cleaner, a lot more data coming through so you can hear more things. Uh, and that's really important because you don't want to put a great big powerful sound systems into a movie theater that something goes wrong, it just gets so loud, it just crushes everybody. We still want to maintain the levels. A lot of the things that uh, they do in cinema that we don't do in PA uh, in terms of allowing the signal to have more integrity or, or things like that seem to create, we can work at the same levels but not have people complain that it's too loud. So that's already built into these first systems like Ashron already, they're already designed to run at these higher definition levels. So it's already there. It's a question of trying to get feed the material. Because if you feed low resolution material that's limited in dynamic range, that's all we can play back. It's like if you feed a, a, a poor color VGS tape into a modern high def system, it's going to look like a poor quality color grainy scan line thingy. It's, you can't do anything about that. By encouraging that this can be the experience you're in the dubbing room or wherever they're working, then that needs to be captured in such a way is that we can then deliver that experience. And we know what that has to be. And we know if it doesn't make it, you know, in terms of testing. And we have all the equipment and everything to verify that very quickly to see if the signal has, an, you know, the integrity that it needs. And so when you reproduce it, it's the same experience, again, same level. Uh, I think once we do that, once we really create it so that they're, they're sure that that's what's happening, we've created that, I think it will take one kind of worry off of you that I don't, I want, you know, I don't know, I have to try at this level, and this level, and this level because I don't know what they're going to do. You know, where like dialogue should be intelligible dialogue and then the, how you put your sounds around that will be up to uh, the artists and the sound designers and things of what they're trying to create, you know, but we do know that some of the films can be very powerful with lots of pressure and energy that, does, that people don't walk away saying it's too loud. They'll hear that when they're doing it. So we're not like saying restricting the creativity of what they're trying to create. They'll hear it immediately. See, in a live show, it's interesting because you're only in the mixed position, but you've done enough work to know that all your little satellite systems are working correctly or someone's done that. Well, see, we're saying the same thing here. You're in this room, you're mixing it, you're here, but every single satellite room that this goes out to is going to do the same thing. That's all just technology. So the technology you're proposing is a very easy fit and just opens up the possibility to do more stuff. Just the same way a high definition projector would uh, buy you the ability to do more stuff and you still can play your VHS library through it. You know, so we want to stay compatible.